Right, hey guys, I'm going to do some makeup because I've been a bit ill, I've been very panicky, anxious, very depressed. So I'm going to do some makeup, try and do a video and try and stay focused on this. Okay, right, so first I, I've moisturised, I've tight lined and I've put moisturiser on the lips because I'll be using a matte lipstick. So first I'm going to use... That girl primer from Benefit, a little travel size. And I decided I'm not, after what I bought from Benefit now, I'm not really going to buy any more. Because I don't know if they test on animals. And I decided to try and go cruelty free. So I have asked um, MUA, which is another brand I like, if they're cruelty free. And apparently they are, so. I can continue using them and I actually do like them. Sorry if you can hear a dog barking. Yeah. So it's just occurred to me that um, I look like I'm going to court. <laughs> I'm not, don't worry. Now I've got this little sample from Estee Lauder, it's a double wear foundation. And it'll cancel out all the red tones in my face because I've got a pink undertone apparently. So I'm just going to give this. A try. Okay, let me try and get some out of. Oh, is that enough? Oh, it's all running. Ooh. It's literally running down my hand. Ew. Anyway, let me uh, give this a sample. First up, it's light paint. It's literally going on light paint. Okay, it might look good in camera, but it does look good on my face in real life. In a minute, I'm not a big fan. No offence to Estee Lauder. They do nice perfumes and all that, but... My god, this foundation is running. Right, I'm going to have to do it with my hands. It's literally getting everywhere now. So yeah, I'm trying out different samples of things so I don't waste my money on buying it. In a minute. That's where things are going. Good on you. Yeah, get off. So I look like I'm dead. Let me, uh. Okay, so it's a good match. But. Is it worth the money? We'll see. Hmm. Alright. I'm not gonna party, I'm just gonna let that sink into my face. Not a big fan. Right now, eyeshadow. I'm gonna use my MUA Pro Base thing, eye primer. I gotta say, the way I'm sitting right now is really uncomfortable. It is literally hurting my spine at the minute. So, I've been trying to avoid putting up videos at the minute. Because of how depressed I've been and the fact that I'm getting extremely paranoid. But, uh, you know what they say. Show must go on, innit? Right, now I'm going to use this Tanya Bear Cosmetics. It's the Candy Glam Beauty Essentials from Superdrug. And I'm going to use hmm, Ballet Slippers all over the eyelid. Okay. Now, you guys know the drill by now. I'm only going to do one eye on camera because it will take too long and it will be a hell of a lot of editing format and I don't like it. Well, I like editing. It keeps me calm. So I'm just going to make that a bit of a base. Next, I'm going to use this little weird brush thing, whatever it is. And I'm going to use Teddy Bear to darken up the crease. It's actually there. So 
could have used increased bush for this, probably. But I'll put it, in, put it on first and blend it. Now I've noticed I've bought a lot of makeup this month. So I'm determined not to buy any more until I use all this stuff up. Because it's getting a bit daft, I will admit. Because, like I've said, I think I've said this. During the winter, I will buy lots of makeup because it keeps me calm. So I kind of go a bit OTD. Blend it up, just try and soft it up a bit. Then add a bit more. Because I still want the colour there, but I don't want it to be too, too dark. There you go, like that. Now I'm going to take another brush and I'll be using Plumberry. Okay. Just darken up the crease. Well, the outer V. Next, I'm going to use the MUA Extreme Felt Liner. Try and do a bit of a, a bit of a flick, if I can. Wish me luck. Right, I'll try so. Still, don't blink. I hate felt liner. I hate liquid eyeliner as well. That goes everywhere. Now, I'm actually thinking about starting up um, mountain biking to try and stay active. You know, my boyfriend's a bike mechanic and he, he's always talking about these bikes and it's like, it is actually interesting how he explains it all and he thinks that I don't listen. Well, I do, I am listening to them. And it's kind of making me a bit, you know. Can anyone hear my brother talking? There's a bit of our learn on there. I don't see much of it. But, you know. Now I'm just going to go back in with that weird brush. Use a bit of black, black eyeshadow from the pound shop. To darken that up a little bit. How long has this been? Ten minutes. I'm getting quick at this, I think. Try and darken it up, try and even it out a bit. So yeah, I am listening to them. And I like to come to the conclusion I want to try man biking. Right, eyelash colours. Tell me eyelashes. But there's a slight downside. I don't have a mountain bike, so. The one thing missing. So I may try and get one. I'll see if you can do me one. I might be able to. I'm using the Pride of London Big Volume Waterproof Mascara. And I'm a big fan of this. I've got mascara in my hair. Great. Right, now I'm going to use Pound Shop, Pound Shop Miss Beauty Concealer. This is actually a really good concealer. It's better than the Boing Concealer. I'm just going to do that in my nose. Can't wait to see that many spots on your face. And I think it's actually because of the um, foundation. There. 
Right, I'm going to come back in a bit and do the other side of right, it. Right, I'm back, I've done the other side, I've put the concealer on and my eye makeup. Right now, I'm going to add a bit of colour into my face. Where is my lush brush? Found it. I'm going to get it back in with a tiny bare palette and it comes with a bronzer and a blusher. And I'm going to use the blusher and it's called Pretty Peony. The rest and some nails. Might be able to tell there a bit. Right, okay, the lips. Now, I, I think I've done quite a subtle look on my eyes. But that's not going to be the point with the lipstick. I'm going in with an MUA red lip liner. It's called Red Drama. I'm just going to do my lips. And it is actually the reason I had to put on lip balm underneath it okay, so that's the li lip liner had a bit of a weird accent then I don't know whose accent that was I tend to pick up accents when I go when I'm out and about now I'm going to use the velvet lip lacquer from MUA looks it is in reckless and this is really mattifying and I l absolutely love it I love having a red lip Christmas time, but not the ones I buy. So, oh yeah, wear matte. Can't spare. And there's a fish steak. It is really pigmented, and I love it. I will admit it does go on quite sticky. This lipstick, but it does dry matte. Gonna finish this off, cause and then just off with it like normal. Now, just to finish that off, try and add a bit of a glow. I'm gonna use the Benefit Benetint, just a red one. Just gonna put this on. I'm just going to put some powder on my face just so I'm not too too shiny and I'm using the MUA pressed powder in translucent. Okay so I look pale as hell but I'm liking it. I've got no red in my face. I hope you all are, I hope you all are alright. I hope you're staying safe. Um, speak to you all later.